Copenhagen has more bikes than inhabitants. It's not been completely taken over by bicycle traffic, but it's well on the way. More than a third of all commuting in and out of the Danish capital is by bike, as is a staggering 50% of all traffic within the city. Some 40,000 cyclists cross this bridge alone every day. It's actually the, uh, the busiest bicycle lanes in the world. Uh, during rush hours in the morning, it's so busy that uh, they've had to add extra lanes, and that's why they are not right now doing extra construction work to, uh, to improve the lanes and improve the facilities. The infrastructure that bikes already enjoy in Copenhagen would seem like a distant dream for most cycling enthusiasts elsewhere. But the authorities here believe that they can pedal a bit harder still. The key, they say, is more space and higher speed, summed up in a new concept, the cycling highway. The cycling highway is a, is a very big project. The city of Copenhagen has started with a lot of the surrounding municipalities. The aim is exactly to create routes that are both comfortable and safe and fast. That means adapting red lights, the cyclist's old enemy, to the speed of bicycles, not cars or getting rid of them altogether for cyclists. It also means building bike stops with pumps, drinking water and power points for electric bikes. For local cyclists, the idea sounds like, well, heaven on wheels. I think it's fantastic. I think that's the way to go. I think it makes the city just so lovely to be in. I already think that it's great now, but I can't imagine what it'd be like if there were no stopping and it's, it's amazing. It's a very good idea. Um, also to reduce uh, the amounts of cars in the city to make it uh, more attractive to bicycle through Copenhagen instead of using the car. Copenhagen is already Europe's second bike friendliest city after Amsterdam. But armed with tens of millions of euros to spend on the bike plan, it soon hopes to lead the pack.